Welcome to highlights of the 2023 Men's UAE Tour, a race you can watch live and on demand on GCN Plus throughout the week. Territory restrictions apply. Stage one, one for the sprinters, and there are a lot of them in attendance. Ewan, Cavendish, Malia, Bennett, Coy and Bauhaus, to name just a few. 151 kilometers the total distance with two intermediate sprints along the way, both with three, two and one bonus seconds to be won for the first three riders across them. It was a nervous start though because of the wind and within the first three kilometers of racing, the peloton was split into pieces. Riders all over the road desperately trying to find some sort of shelter. It was brutal. A very strong front group soon formed with a mix of sprinters and GC riders. World champion Remco Avenepoel, the only representative there for Sudal Quickstep. Bahrain had a number of riders in there, as did Jumbo Visma. So too did Ineos Grenadiers and it was the Australian champion Luke Plapp who took a maximum three bonus seconds at the second of the intermediate sprints, having already picked up two at the first. Clearly a man with an eye on the general classification. Soon after, that front group was caught by the second group on the road, putting Mark Cavendish, Caleb Ewan, Tim Malia and a number of other sprinters back in with a chance of the win. The British champion, now riding for Team Astana, is riding his first race with new lead-out man Case Boll, and the two of them were now safely at the front of the race. With such a large group now formed, the pace reduced significantly, allowing the main bunch behind to gradually close the gap. Good news for the likes of Jay Vine and Jakob Fulsang, both of whom had missed out. With just over 30 k's to go, the gap between them was down to a minute, but just as everyone was starting to relax, there was an attack at the front. Ewan, Malia, Cavendish and Bauhaus the main sprinters there, with Avon and Paul Platt and Bill Bau looking to take an early advantage on GC. They were soon working very well together, and as they eventually crossed the finish line for the first time, their advantage over the group behind them was close to 1 minute and 30 seconds. Behind that lead group, the two groups behind on the road did eventually come back together. However, with such little road left between them and the finish line, the win at this point was sure to come from one of the riders in that front group. Could it be the first win of 2023 for this man? Well, there was a bit of a scare inside the last three kilometers. Somebody let the wheel go, with Avon Paul Plapp and Bill Bow finding themselves off the front. But some quick work from Jared Drizners of Lotto Destiny saw them reeled back in. Into the final kilometer, and the Belgian champion Tim Malier had given some clear instructions to teammate Bert van Leeberger. Presumably, that was to get us into the last corner first. Here on the right-hand side of your picture, you can see Van Leeberger doing exactly that, closing the door on Boll and Cavendish in the process. Locked right onto the back wheel of Malia, though, was Caleb Ewan, and it was a drag strip sprint all the way to the finish line. Ewan came off the wheel, drew alongside the Belgian, and then threw his bike at the line. The Australian clearly thought that he'd got the win but we'd have to wait for the photo finish for official confirmation. Behind them, Sam Bennett won the sprint for 13th place. Scant consolation, really, for the Irishman, who just never managed to get himself to the front of the race. Here we've got the overhead shots, and you can see that Cavendish and Coy just didn't have enough speed to be in with a chance of the win. But in terms of who actually did win the stage, well, this angle really didn't give us any more information. And as it turned out, neither did the photo finish. There was absolutely nothing to separate the two riders. Surely a dead heat would be the decision. But no, either the commissaires have better eyesight than the rest of us, or they saw something that we didn't. Malia was eventually declared the winner, with Ewan having to settle for second. Cavendish, Coy, Arndt, Bauhaus, Plapp, Avonapool, Bilbao and Boll rounding out the top ten. Being the first stage, it also meant that Malia leads the general classification. The Belgian will be working for teammate Avonapool later on in the week, but I'm sure he'll enjoy his time in red. Luke Plapp, courtesy of those bonus seconds, is now in third, Avonapool in sixth place. We will be back with short highlights of every single stage of the UAE Tour, but don't forget, you can tune in live on GCN+.